Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty. I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, my story and um, my vision for the future. Um, if you have not seen my raw reel video, I encourage you to watch that um, either before or after. You might get a little bit more context if you watch it before. But anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you like my content, subscribe to my channel, um, hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. And uh, so here goes. A little bit more about my story is over the past 10 years, I have been incredibly busy going to school, dealing with infertility, um, then fostering kids, babies specifically. And I started to lose myself um, just because of all that was going on. You know, I, I just was in... In, entrenched or engulfed I'm not sure if that's the right word those are the right words in just all the happenings of life all that was going on in my life and as time progressed I started feeling stuck and tired and you know in every way emotionally physically just tired <laughs> And, you know, from the outside, it looked like everything was good and fine. And, you know, I, I, have, I have a good life. You know, I have a loving husband. I love the Lord. I have a, a foster daughter. I have nice things and a house and a career. But inside, I was... I was just, I was just feeling stuck and in a rut. And, you know, appearance isn't everything. You know, people around you, people in your world can appear to be fine, but not everybody's always fine. It's not about things and it's not about necessarily what socioeconomic status you are. We all go through things. We all deal with things differently. You know, some of the poorest people I know, you know, visiting other countries, you know, doing missions trips are some of the happiest people I know. They you know, have good relationships with each other and they, they celebrate what we would consider in, in the U.S. as simple, like getting a soccer ball or something like that. Like, there's always somebody worse off than you, but it, it depends on how you deal with it. Are you... Are you unappreciative of what you have? You know, people that are worse off than you sometimes deal with, with their circumstances better. It just depends on the person and it doesn't necessarily matter what, what you have or where you're from or... So anyway, all that to say, <laughs> I felt like I was a, f a failure at things and um, just not feeling like I was making forward progress, even though in life, you know, I, I'm dealing with whatever curveball I've been given and I just, I felt powerless to change anything. I just felt, like I said in my other video, that life was just dragging me along. I had no purpose, I had no focus. 
I didn't have necessarily an aha moment. Um, I just decided to do something different, to try something new. And that was starting my YouTube channel. I had wanted to do it for a couple of years. And in November, I just, November of 2020, I just decided to do it. And it opened up a whole new world for me. I didn't think that I'd be good in front of the camera because I, I don't really like FaceTime calls and Zoom calls. I always feel awkward. <laughs> and I actually really liked it. I really liked making the videos and I thought, huh, I'm not, I'm not too bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm decent and you know of course there are people that are better than me but it made me excited about life again just something simple as a YouTube channel as starting something new it doesn't have to be a YouTube channel but I really enjoyed it and it gave me a whole new level of confidence. Um, kind of in every area of my life. And at the same time, I was following this YouTuber and I've taken some of her courses and it has just given me a whole new lease on life. And I don't feel in a rut like I was. I don't feel stuck in a rut. And I... Lizzie, shh. I love you, but shh. <laughs> and so I started, I started exercising again and just this new these new hobbies made me excited about life again and gave me a confidence um, and so my my hope and my vision for the future is that i can help working moms especially that's my heart because that's where i'm at um, is a working mom is to help you not to, to help you have purpose again and to help you help pull you out of out of your rut um, you know whether it be you just want to feel pretty again I want to have resources that can help you with that or you just want to start exercising again. I want to help you with that. I want to, you know, possibly do a, a workout plan for you or encourage you and be accountable or help you to be accountable for your exercise. Um, my husband, I mentioned it to him briefly, but I want to rope him into to helping um, have a course teach and teach music lessons. Um, and also, you know, if you want to do a Bible study or learn more about the Bible, I'd like to rope my husband into to doing a Bible course for those of you who want a Bible course. You know, I just, I want to help working moms feel empowered again. And sometimes the simplest change in your life can make the biggest difference. It can give you hope again. It can um, make you excited again about life. Um, it can make you feel empowered that you're taking your life back. I want it to be, I want to be a resource 
that can help you feel empowered again. I have a Facebook group that I'd love you to be a part of. It's called Empowering Working Moms with Misty Foley. And um, I just, I want to build or to create a place that moms can encourage each other and build each other up and, and challenge each other um, to, to be a better version of yourself. So I would love if you join my Facebook group. Um, if you have any comments or questions, I will, I will put my email down below. Um, you can message me on Facebook. So um, again, that's my, my vision is I just want to be a resource for working moms to feel empowered again. I, I'm trying to take a holistic approach to, to helping you guys. Um, so if you like this content, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and um, hope to hear from you and see you soon. Bye.